Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am going over a gas mask. I haven't gone over a gas mask in absolutely ages. I think the last video I went over a gas mask was maybe last year or the year before and that was my Avon FM12. Today we're going to be going over the Scott GSR or the General Service Respirator. Here's a little look of the GSR. Here it is. I did do a video recently and I told you guys to guess what this mask was and nobody got it right. Everyone thought it was a Naven mask um, and some other random masks. Uh, no one guessed the Scott GSR, which was a bit of a shame. Um, but basically, let's get into the mask review. So before we actually go into the mask, I want to just do a little bit of background story on Scott and how the GSR came about. So basically, the whole story behind it was the British Army back in whenever it was i'm gonna say 2005 to 2008 because the production started from 2007 onwards um up to 2019 because avon rubber took over the scott gsr so it's now called like the avon i think it's called the avon gsr or the avon general service respirator um because i'm pretty sure scott went bankrupt the company closed and now 3M own basically Scott. So Scott isn't a trading name anymore. I mean, you can get the Scott um, FFR, but that's still under that name from 3M. Um, you can get the Scott P3 filters and the Scott filters. They're all manufactured by 3M now. So there's no such thing as Scott anymore. Um, which, I mean... I mean, it's pretty obvious with some of these masks. I mean, my 2014 one isn't too bad. Um, I want to go over it, I'll show you. But some of the earlier models, they were just horrible. And they just got destroyed so easily. Um, but yeah, the British Army, back in them days, wanted to upgrade the S10. It was coming out of his life, and they wanted an upgrade. Um, I think the contract went to Scott because it was cheaper. And they can make more of them. Obviously, this was the first time they ever went with a different um, producer because they always went with Avon. And I think the mask that was up for like grabs, um, like going through the same testing and stuff with the GSR, was the Avon M50, I believe, it was, or it was a C50, or. S50 is that one it was either the C50 or the M50 I think it was um, that it was competing against this one and obviously the Avon one's just so much better but because Scott um, could produce it really really cheap uh, they took that one which is a bit of a shame and obviously now they're back to Avon uh, Avon GSR which is still in service and a few other Avon masks are still in service the Scott GSR, though, is still in service, though. That's the funny thing. Um, it's in service in, I think it's the Danish forces, Danish milita military, or it's the FFR they've taken on. But it's one of them two masks. Um, so, yeah, the British Army wanted to upgrade the S10. They wanted filter ports that locked so you couldn't breathe uh, when the filters uh, came off, basically. That is the reason why they wanted to upgrade. So obviously with one of these masks, just picking this one up, um, this is a MP5, a Polish MP5 here, uh, Mask Pole MP5, I will do a video on it at some point. So if you had your 40mm NATO on this, you unscrewed it, all the air is going to go in, there's no filter lock, it's literally just a dead end and it's just going to go in, you're going to breathe all of them chemicals in, so what you have to do is take a big breath and hold it in um they didn't want that because it was killing loads of soldiers and it was just easier to redesign something that locked the filter ports that is where the scott gsr came in which is an amazing design actually they should really do that for 40 millimeter nato they should really look into it um yeah so the filters basically work is a key in the filter um and obviously there's a little inlet with the uh, in in the intake basically when you put your mask on it pushes the key in and it when you turn it it unlocks the air hole basically um, and then you can breathe as soon as you take the filter off it seals it back up 
Obviously, the earlier models didn't do that very well, but this one does it fantastic. Uh, when you take both the the uh, filters off, you can't breathe. You'd suffocate in there. Um, obviously, you have one on. Um, you can breathe, but it's very hard to breathe through one. Uh, it's always best to have two on it. But, yeah, that is pretty much the history, really. There isn't really much for me to talk about other than the... The new ones are good. I would really like a Avon one, but I don't think I'll ever get my hands on one of them. But let's go over the mask. So the reason I actually bought this mask was one because it was cheap on eBay. I've been wanting one of these for absolute ages, but I could never find one that was actually the right price. These were always going for like 70, 80, almost a hundred pounds. They're not worth that. I Probably did overpay a little bit um, as I literally had to buy the filters separately. So I got a massive box of just filters. Well, I say massive box. They were filled up with filters. Um, but they've all disappeared, sadly. Um, so yeah, I had to buy the mask, which was about £50, which is pretty reasonable. It's a shame it didn't come with any filters, um, which is a really big shame. Um, and the filters were like 20 quid. Sadly, none of them were brand new because brand new ones were going stupid prices and I couldn't really find them. The only ones I could find on eBay and they wanted like 30 quid for a sealed for sealed filters when I can buy a RD40 40mm NATO filter for like 10 quid, not even that. 5 quid for a brand new filter, which is good. Uh, if you want a military one, then maybe 10, 15 quid at its max. But yeah, I mean, this is the mask going over it. You've got your drinking straw in here. And you've got your straw that moves in here. You've got your XL valve in here. And your voice diaphragm in here. Um, what I meant by the terrible quality, I'm not sure if you can see around here, but all the glue marks all around here, it's just terrible. Um, people used to be able to see through these masks. Uh, the lenses are horrible as well. It's not made out of like a sturdy plastic. It's made out of like a polymer thing. Um, it's just not very good. But mine seals fine. And there isn't really much for me to diss about this mask. Um, I don't like the straps. They aren't very comfortable. Um, I haven't got a drinking straw installed sadly. Uh, so I can't actually test that, but the drinking straw system works on this side all works fine And obviously you can take off your filters. You can also interlock them like this. So when you're shooting um, you can change the Angle really of the filters. So like that here is the information about my mask as well So if I can get it right 2014 I was made I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Um, yeah, so mine was made in 2014, uh, which is good. 26th of the 8th, 2014, which is which is good. This rubber's a bit weak here. I can feel that. That's extremely weak there. Uh, there was also a inside filter, and this was so you would filter the air through these two, and then it would go through this filter, which is the inside P3 filter, for more protection um, before it actually reached you, which I thought was a really good design, actually. Um, it's just a shame how hard it was <laughs> to get inside and outside. Um, it was also acted as a moisture like collector. It had the straw in it, um, so it collected any dampness and anything. But some people didn't like it. I didn't like it at first because you could feel it resting on your chin and it's hard plastic. Um, it didn't feel very nice, but I mean, it's, it was a good design. Uh, the nose cap as well. I mean, really, the mask, I do like the mask. And if you take the filters off, um, that's not off, that's, yeah, there you go. If you take them off, this is the bayonet thing, and it's a size two. If I unscrewed this, so if I took these prongs off and unscrewed this, there is a 40 millimeter NATO port under this. Um, so it's literally been screwed on and that means I could turn any 40 millimeter NATO mask into a bayonet mask 
which if you guys want to see, then I'll definitely do it. If you guys also want to see me turn this mask into a 40 millimeter mask, let me know and I will do it. Um, obviously, yeah, I mean, let, let me know and I'll do it. Um, at the moment, I'm trying to buy a Scott FFR, which is the 40 millimeter version. But obviously, if, if I do get one, then I can compare both of them. Obviously, the Scott FFR is going to be better because it's going to be brand new 21 or 22 bloody uh, production line. 2019, maybe, or 2018, one of them. Uh, it's going to be a brand new mask sealed. Um, I've got a few contacts that are able to get me one, uh, which is good. So hopefully, maybe this month, no, not this month, maybe next month, um, I'll be able to buy one of them and a few others as well. So, yeah, I mean... Should we put the mask on, do a few tests? I mean, it does seal perfectly fine. Oh, I forgot to say, it's got two masks in it. So, you have the outside mask, and then you have an inside mask. Uh, so, it's very hard to determine what size you actually are. Now, I'm usually a size 3 in 40mm NATO Avon masks. But I got this in a size 2 thinking it would fit me. It does fit me. The only problem is the outer seal up here doesn't fit very well. But um, the inside seal works. So there isn't really too much of an issue. Um, we're going to put the mask on now and do some testing. Here we go. We got the mask on. It's a very, it is a little bit whistly. Um, that's because of my breathing. Um, I do need to readjust the straps at some point, um, but it seals. I don't know if you can see up here is where it doesn't seal very well, but um, obviously the inside seal fits perfectly. Pressurized check. I mean, it seals fine. Take off one filter. Seals fine again. This is going to be a hard one. Taking off both filters. There you go. I almost did die. And obviously it pressurises. With one filter, I can feel the strain. Um, I can feel the, the breathing strain. So it's so much easier to have. Um, if I can actually find the port. You've got to match the things up. There you go. So much easier to breathe with two. Um, also works with night vision. Um, I haven't actually tested my night vision out. But, um, let me get my helmet. It does work quite well with the, my uh, night vision helmet. So it goes down, boop, 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 and then you got my night vision, like so. Which is pretty cool. Obviously, you've got to readjust everything. But you could wear a helmet on this. Very sturdy. Um, I mean, it doesn't add too much weight. Um add some headphones as well but i mean yeah i mean it works works pretty well with a helmet which is quite good um obviously i do need to readjust the straps properly um hopefully when i buy the ffr um steve from the nuclear family um is who i'm probably going to buy it from if he's got any left he might be able to come out and actually size it properly which would be good because it does um, need, this one needs resizing. Uh, also because I've got hair down here, it's not sealing as well. But, I mean, it's a pretty good mask. I mean, the only thing obviously, shoulders get in the way. Obviously, you got a gun. I don't have a gun, sadly. But obviously, you'd have to be like this. You have to kind of be like that to look over your shoulder. Um... Because the shoulders get in the way, you know, with these. This is obviously where this function comes in. Obviously, now I can look more. I can look more over there, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, obviously, shooting, I don't have a gun in with me at the moment. But obviously, if you want me to do a video showing a gun, um, like showing you how good the sights are, um, obviously the screen in here I can see amazing I can literally see 
from here here so I can see everything here, everything there, everything here, which is really good. Uh, with my A's and S and 12, um, it gets cut off here and there's just two little circles. So it's kind of like that. So I can only see really two little eyes, which are straightforward. This, I feel more comfortable because I can see more. And obviously with night vision, it allows me to see uh, through goggles and things like that. So, I mean, let's test it. I got some deodorant here. I also got some vapor rub here, which is the first thing that came to my head. So really, no. So obviously the filters work, which is quite good. Obviously if I take the mask off, yeah, I can, I can inhale that. Um, so the mask ceiling is working, which is quite good. Obviously, if I then unscrew the filter, I can see. No, can't smell that either. It's, I think it's when I take the filter off, which I'm not going to do because I need my breathing. Um, let's get this to lock in. Let's get this one to lock in. So no, I can't smell the deodorant, which is good. We got some vapor rub. It's absolutely stink. Can I smell it? No. Nope. No. No. And then obviously the paint tester. Yep, I can smell that if I obviously take the mask off. So, it works. The filters work as well, which is really good. Um, these, I don't know what when these expired. Um, but, yeah, they work. Which is quite good. Um, yeah, there isn't really much for me else to say. Obviously, if you did enjoy this video, smash the like button and subscribe. Uh, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, so please, please, please keep subscribing. I've got a lot of good videos planned um, for the future. i obviously got more shooting videos. I've got videos planned with Steve from the Nuclear Family. Um, I've got some big videos of Cracker Shop. Hopefully, that's going to come up soon. Um, there might be... Might be some promotional videos coming soon of them. More rations, more shooting videos, just everything really. This year we're going to try and get 2,000 subscribers. Um, do I think we're going to hit it? I'm, I'm pretty confident we can. I mean, we've got 500 more to go. Um, obviously, we're getting like one to two subscribers a day. So hopefully by the end of the year, we can get 2,000 subscribers. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um... But hopefully we can get 2,000 subscribers. That's going to be it, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe again. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.